Here's the hopes of Australia, the first hope of Australia, Hamish McKenzie. National champion at the individual time trial. And if you can win the Aussie National Championship as a time trialist, you're going to be pretty rapid. He certainly looks good on his bike, doesn't he? This 18-year-old Australian rider already on top of the gear as he just kicks the pedals over, taking a really tight line around that left-hander. Still looking quite strong. He's such an aggressive rider, isn't he? But when he gets into that aero tuck, he just looks refined and easy. Comes up to this intermediate split, and he is rocking his way around this course. Hamish McKenzie this afternoon is looking like he is on an absolute mission. 1 minute 11 seconds faster than the fastest time by the German Louis Ledart. 48.3 kilometers an hour to this point, Rochelle. This rider is setting a standard that might stand for quite a while. Yeah, I was just thinking he might have to uh, spend more than two, maybe three hours in the hot seat until we have the final riders in the last wave. There's a lot of favorites there, but he certainly will be setting a very, very fast time early on in this competition. Hamish McKenzie comes into the finish for Australia. Top of the leaderboard, that is a spectacular time on restricted gears. An average speed of 48.9 kilometers an hour. Yeah, very, very impressive. The start then of the Swiss rider, Jan Christian. Another rider who we think has got a chance of a medal, was seventh in the World Championships last year. Steady start off the start ramp for Jan Christen. This is Romat Pajur, the Estonian rider. Seemed a bit steady over the top there, but actually is carrying a fair amount of speed. Emil Herzog about to get underway. Rides for a club called Team Autoida. Has had some good performances. 20 past four in the afternoon. But it feels a little bit later than that. It feels a little bit chillier. And Christian, almost at nine minutes, clicking his way through the gears, looking for a little bit more momentum, a little bit more power through those pedals. And the big favourites now, Josh Tarling, the last rider to leave the starting ramp for Great Britain. Still pedalling furiously in that restricted gear. The German rider who started fourth from last. We we'll still wait for the arrival now of the British rider. Here he is, the silver medalist last year. The time to beat is 9 minutes 4.54, and Tarling is the first rider under 9 minutes. And 9.44 under the time of Hamish McKenzie. For the first time, the Australian's time is in danger. A more tense face now. Hamish McKenzie. Emil Herzog of Germany makes his way into the finish line. It looks like it's going to be second place for Emil Herzog. It is 14.26 seconds down. Herzog has ridden superbly. Tarling now downhill, chasing the rainbow bands, chasing riders in front of him. He's already caught Jens Verbrugge for two minutes. Look at McKenzie, is it going to be gold? Is it going to be silver? The silver medalist of last year, with Hamish McKenzie watching him, is now firing his way into Wollongong. It's going to be on the line, gold for Tarling. He does it, 19 seconds. He pulls back the deficit he lost exactly. Tarling takes the rainbow bands. Silver last year, gold this year. Representing Great Britain, Joshua Tulling. His first world title. They gave us a superb race to follow.